The only reason why I'm doing this is because I have clients that are begging because their hair feels so crunchy because they're used to coming and getting their five to six week regular trim and it's been already eight and maybe they were due that week so they're on 10 and 12 and their hair is not doing anything. So that's what we're doing this trim for, okay? I believe beauty is defined solely by you. Empowering transformation and making others feel brave about their beauty, it's what I do. Okay, I promised, so guess what? We're gonna get a trim today. I wanna tell you first what you're gonna have to have. You have to have a comb, you have to have clips, and you have to have hair shears. You cannot do this without hair shears. Now, where are you gonna get hair shears? You can get them at the local CVS, you can get them on Amazon. You have to promise me you're not gonna do this till you get hair shears. You don't have to get the $1,000 pair that I use, of course. They're $12, $15, $20, $20, less than it would have cost you to get your hair cut. Um, but they are different. This metal is different than paper shears, fabric shears, any of that stuff. So don't get those kitchen scissors and try to cut your hair. It's Your hair is gonna be, it, they gnaw at it. They gnaw at paper to cut it. It's gonna gnaw at your hair. Your hair is gonna feel crappier than it does right now with being overdue for your trip. All right, so promise me, you're gonna get those things first before we start anything. Okay, so now that you know what you, you need, your clips and your scissors, hair scissors, and your comb, we are gonna, um, I wanna say one thing for sure. I know you're probably freaking out, and if you are, maybe you shouldn't do this, and I don't recommend it. The only reason why I'm doing this is because I have clients that are begging because their hair feels so crunchy because they're used to coming and getting their five to six week regular trim um, which is a good good time to get trims and it's been already eight and maybe they were due that week So they're on 10 and 12 and their hair is feeling country. It's laying flat. It's not doing anything So that's what we're doing this trim for okay You I do not suggest this if you go to a stylist you love You're gonna be able to follow her line. This isn't about you know giving yourself this new haircut or anything like that I love you to be beauty brave, but that's pushing the limit so the one thing that I want to say that we're going to do is we are, first and foremost, you are going to go ahead and shampoo and blow dry your hair out, okay? So I just shampooed and just blew my hair out straight so that I can, it can be easier for me to cut my own hair by myself, okay? So we're going to go ahead and get started. What we're going to do first, we're going to keep this really simple. If it, if it helps you at all to know that I am a trained licensed professional for almost 40 years. I've taught all over the world, stylist how to cut hair. So I think I can get you through this light trim. So I just kind of took the back away for right now. We're gonna be starting on the top because it's gonna be the easiest for you. And we're gonna be sectioning through and trimming and you're gonna follow each one. You can pause, trim, come back, pause. So take your time. And I promise you, just follow my directions. So on your part line, usually what you do is you take a half inch on the one side and a half inch on the other side and you're gonna start the part line. Now, granted, I, um, I like to part my hair all different ways. So I am actually going to, even though you see where my part is, I'm going right to the center because I do part my hair in the center. On the right side, on the left side, I do change it up sometimes. We are going to take that section. If you need to, for your hands, you can break that section in half so that there's not so much hair in your hands. You are gonna pull all the way up. I'm using a mirror that's in front of the camera. You're gonna pull all the way up. Now, we are not going to be cutting that much hair. Your hair didn't grow that much in five or six weeks. You're gonna pull up till you just have about a half inch of hair and you're literally gonna take that tiny little half inch off. That's all we're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna take that second piece there, pull straight up. I'm gonna see what I just, that little clean half inch I did and then notice there's this little fuzzy stuff behind it. We're gonna follow that line, not cut what I already cut and take that fuzzy stuff behind it off. 
This is all we're cutting. So now I'm gonna take from this side, like about a half inch, right? And a little bit of what I just cut, just so that I have what we call in the hair biz, a guideline. So it'll be under there, we'll be able to see it, you know, you'll lightly see it. Again, look how far I'm coming out. It's a tiny little half inch. And I'm just gonna trim that little half inch off with my hair scissors, not paper scissors. And now I have to do the back section. See that little half inch up there? Take that off, okay? So I have all of that done. We're gonna do this side now. Take another half inch. I'm gonna take some of the section that I already did. I'm gonna pull straight up. So what's happening is we're literally following. It's okay if these bangs drop out. We're gonna trim bangs in a minute. I prefer them to drop out anyway because we don't wanna mess with our bangs. Again, I pulled straight up. There's that tiny little half inch. I can actually a little bit see what I already did. And I'm gonna take this back one. Tiny little half inch. Remember, we are only taking a half inch. I Trust me, it'll make all the difference in your hair. If you're feeling brave and you're gonna cut an inch, mm, I'm not sure I can, rec I can guarantee that you're going to be following what your stylist did. All right, so that is, this right here has now been trimmed. And what we're gonna be doing, that back right on top of the ear, see that part? Same size, about a, maybe a half inch, one inch section. And this is a little bit trickier, but what you're gonna see is, you are gonna see what you trimmed. So actually, what we're gonna do right now is, Go right down, pull this out. See that tiny little bit? I'm gonna cut, I always cut the first couple digits only. So there's a tiny little half inch there. I'm gonna clean those up. That's now cut. It's okay that the bottom dropped. Now, I'm gonna pull this up. I am seeing what I cut and what I cut here just now, and I'm gonna Trim those ends in between. That's it. Now I can take some of that section and some of the section in front of it. Again, I'm coming down here to the bottom. This dropped out, which is good because that's my bottom line. Pulling out, just taking off that half inch there and then pulling up and I'm connecting that. I see this little cut and I see that little cut from the top and I'm just taking a little half inch to blend those. That's it. I keep saying that's it because I don't want you cutting any more than that. We train, I can't even tell you how long we train. My assistants sometimes are with us for um, three years before they even cut a client's hair. So don't think that we're gonna get into anything dramatic here. We just want you to feel better. I just want you to feel better about your hair right now. All right, same side, same thing on this side. Right down the top of the ear, right? The section, it's only an inch section. Clean parts are pretty important, very important. I see what I cut up there. I see I'm gonna go into there. I'm gonna take that half inch off. And then I'm gonna pull it this way and see, see that little, it's just a tiny bit of hair. I'm just gonna trim it off. And now I'm gonna do it here. So basically, if you notice what I'm doing is I'm just pulling the haircut. If I did this right now, see that angle that my stylus cut? If I cut this, I'm gonna have a whole different haircut. Okay, we don't want that. We want what she already did. There it is, I pulled it out to what she already did. And I'm taking a nice little half inch off of all that. Okay, all right, so your bangs. Everybody's bangs are different length. And my bangs are, I'm, I'm actually growing my hair out some, so I'm trying to grow some of the layers out, so that's why just cleaning them like that is really good for me. And my bangs are long, but wherever your bangs are, 
I'm gonna show you where your bang should be. When you put the comb on the top of your head, wherever the bend starts, see where the comb lifts off? That's where your bang really starts. That's your natural bang. A lot of people go back so far with their bang, it's not good. It's never good, because then you're losing too much hair on the side here, and you start your haircut starts to look funny. <laughs> so we're just gonna take these bangs, see where I'm at? I'm gonna come to the bottom. There's a tiny little half inch I could see there. And I'm gonna clean those up. That's it. Now, if, you, if your bang is heavier, you can come right across or angle down. So you either come straight across, straight across, or straight across at your nose, down one, down one. My hair's thinner on the sides there, so that's it, that's my bang. All right, so the bang's pretty simple. And we're gonna move on to the back. All right, I'm not gonna lie to you, the back is very, very difficult to do. The only way I really can cut the back of my hair is having two mirrors set up. So I have a mirror right there. I can see the back as you can see the back. So I can see what's going on right here. It's really the only way to do your hair. So with that being said, we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna come straight down here. You can use your clip. I, I, I'm sorry that I didn't use my clip every time because I've been doing this so long. But whenever you section something like that, just take the clip and get the section out of your way, okay? In the back, it's more difficult for me, so it's important for me to do that. Now, we're gonna do it in steps the same thing. Like, we're gonna start here. Look at those beautiful roots of mine. All right, I see what I had already cut, and I see that little half inch up there that needs to be cut. So I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna go to the next section here. I can see in the back, I'm gonna pull out. So I can pull all the way out, tiny little half inch. Once you have your half inch, you can move your hand around, right? Like once you pull straight out your section, which is not easy to do, and I see my little half inch right there, I can bring it forward as long as I hold tight and don't move it and just take off that little half inch. All right. I just did that whole strip down the back. Now, we're gonna do it on this side. So you can see, I'm just gonna part here. Now I'm using the mirror so, so I can see. I'm gonna part here. Well, I'm gonna be two sections till I run into the back of my hair. Here, I just clipped my hair and I'm a trained professional, how about that? All right, so. Pick this up first. Yep, there's those little, I see the cut from that last cut I just did, and I just see some little ends, and I'm gonna clean off. So remember, what we talked about earlier is this is not about trying to become a hairstylist overnight. If I taught you how, if I was a chef and was teaching you how to cook, I certainly would not be teaching you a difficult recipe, right? So again, see, I make sure there's only a half inch. If at any time there's more than that, you gotta not do it. <laughs> I'm telling you, you have to not do it. So I'm getting right now to my last section, which meets up to my section um, on the side. And there should be very little hair, yep, very little hair here because I already cut that side, and all I'm doing is bend it, blending the back into, into the um, sides. See that little bit right there? All right, how about that? That whole side is done. Again, it's only a half an inch, it's freshly cleaned. Tomorrow, when I go to do my hair, it's going to, um, you know, it just is gonna lay so much better just from this trim. All right, so now I have to do this side. Remember, like, exactly what I just did. It's just gonna take, sometimes sides are more difficult. Okay, it's gonna be a part right here, and I'm gonna clip this off. I'm gonna pull it up. There it is. I can see the little fuzzy stuff, because I already cut, I already cut part of the section that's in the middle, right? Then I'm coming down a little bit, because remember, I have what you would call a graduated bob. So I have a tiny bit of layer in um, 
in the in my hair and what you're seeing me do is I'm literally following the line I'm following the amazing haircut that's already in here um, and that's who I'm suggesting this do this for um, if you don't have a great cut in there already it's gonna be really difficult to even follow what I'm doing because like I was saying before I'm cutting the line she already cut see I'm moving my hands to the line I'm not if at any time, I'm gonna do this again, if I pull this up and I'm only cutting a half inch here, but three inches on this side, you're doing the wrong cut because that's not how your hair is cut. You gotta pull out to what's already there and take those little ends off. That's all you're doing. You're following what's already there. I cannot stress enough. Please just follow the lines that are there and take a half inch off. That's all we're doing. Gonna, there we go, this is all cut, it's good to go. So I just trimmed my entire interior, this is called the interior, plus my bang of my haircut, and now we have to move to the bottom. Now, I can't lie to you, I already trimmed my hair <laughs> since this has all been going on. So I really don't want my bottom that much shorter, but I'm gonna show you what to do. We're not gonna do much. My recommendation is that you maybe possibly you know, again, just lightly trim. Maybe it'll be a little longer than normal, but it'll be better. So as you can see, I can literally see the line that's been cut. This is how strong my angle is. And I'm gonna take, again, that little half inch off. So the angle's like this, you see that? I'm just picking it up so I can see it. But I'm staying right on the angle. All right, that was my comb, give me a minute. Sorry. Um, then on this side, same thing, there's the angle that's already been cut in there. Once I get the angle in, I can move it so I can see it. And I'm just gonna take that little half inch off. I'm not taking much because I'm letting my hair just get a tiny bit longer. Now for the back, you must have two mirrors, you know, cause you need to see, I can completely see right here, there. And what I just trimmed, I can comb this down I can put my hand on top of it even. And I'm just going to trim that line. Okay? So I did that on that side. A little more. And I guess I could turn for you on this side. See that? So if you are worried about cutting a straight line like this, you can kind of chip into that there. Like I'm just trimming those ends off. Now remember, if you don't, <laughs> if you're trying to use paper scissors, this is the part that will just, you'll go nuts. So there's that straight line and I'm just coming right, because I have that weight right there in the center. Take that off. So I'm using that mirror to be able to see that. Now, is it perfection? No, but is it better? 100%. So let me see if I can see this side. And I'm gonna have to do this without showing you because the mirror won't go there. So let me just. So again, I would not be able to do that without a mirror. Now granted, I'm gonna show you the back because it definitely feels a ton better for sure. And I will say that is it perfect coming from a stylist that's been doing hair for over 30 years? Like, I can already see some misses and whatnot. Um, and if I want to get back in there, like I could tell that's a little weighty, um, I can, which I'm going to. But I would just stick with, you know, this is much better than where we started. You can see that weight right there. That little corner. I'll just take it out. Okay, so that's a kind of a big step to go back there and do that. You know, right now, maybe you'll just trim your layers up. You don't even have to do the bottom if you don't, if you don't feel that you can do a straight line or you could ask somebody you really, really trust if somebody's in the house with you. I don't know if any of you have daughters. I would 100% trust my daughter to just make a straight line. Um, so you could do that as well. But I can feel the difference. It's so much better. Um, I am literally gonna turn on my faux blow, which will oh, plug in. Um, and I'll just, 
style it a little bit. So I'll show you how I do that afterwards. So from here, I'm just gonna use my faux blow just to put the volume back in top, just to move the direction. Even now, I can feel as I spin it with my brush, it's just so much more, um, so much more it's not grabbing like it was and the ends feel smooth and I can tell I can get the lift and volume back into my hair the movement that I've been looking for um, even the bangs don't feel so crunchy um, and I know that I know that it won't be easy for you but like I said take your time go back and forth with the video and be sure be sure be sure to take your time and um, please, comments below if this is something that you're gonna do next week and you have a couple of questions, or you're gonna do it over the weekend, definitely comment below and I will be sure to answer. See ya.